Instagram, wherever I decide to post this, YouTube. Um, I wanted to get on for a little bit and encourage you um, that everything is going to be all right. Um, Romans 8 and 28. All things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Um, also, Proverbs 3 and 5 says... ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight he will direct your path that means that during this time um whatever it is that you're dealing with do not look at what's going on in the now because you would not be able to understand it you would not be able to understand what is going on you would not be able to understand how your bills are going to get paid you would not be able to understand how that child is going to get saved, how your husband, how your wife is going to begin to act right. Will you ever love again? Will you ever trust again? Um, just whatever you've been through, betrayal, whatever you've been through, your car keeps acting up, whatever you've been through, um, your grandfather, grandmother is sick in their deathbed, or you know someone who has some COVID-19. Do not dwell on those things do not think about it and try to understand it because you cannot understand it. His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. That means that we would not be able to comprehend what God is doing. Whether we may look at it as a bad thing or a good thing, Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. And we have to keep our trust in God. We have to be able to stay motivated when things does not look like what it will become. We have to put our trust in the word i said earlier i said um the devil comes to kill steal and destroy just because that's what he comes to do it does not mean that it will prevail it does not mean that god the devil may have power but god is more powerful hallelujah so just keep your focus keep your thoughts on the things of god keep your thoughts on everything that's just whatsoever is pure if there be any praise think on these things why you are isolated in isolated is a bad word but why you are in your why you are in your house what looks like a jail cell whatever why you're in those places do not allow the enemy to entrap your mind to make you feel like that there is no hope keep your hope in god keep your faith in god even if it's a little bit it says that the um, idle mind is the devil's workshop so keep yourself busy during this time if you have to go walking that's what i'm doing with my dog right now if you have to go walking if you have to talk on the phone if you have to play a game take this time and do something and not just be idle you know so yeah um i encourage you in the lord to just stay on the battlefield even when things does not look like it, things may not look like what God has promised you. If God has promised you and he's giving you your destiny and he's giving you your purpose, just understand that there are things that you're going to have to go through. There are people that's going to have to leave your life. Death is going to have to take place, whatever. But if there is oil in you, God has to squeeze it out of you. Hallelujah. Whatever it is, you may be broken. God is near to the brokenhearted. And the thing about the thing about the devil, when you're going through certain things, he may be laughing because he feels like he has the final say so. But the devil does not have the final say so. So what the devil meant for bad, God would turn him around and make it for your good. Okay? Like I said, I just said it before. Hallelujah. I said it before. All things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and are called to his purpose. Do you love the Lord? Do you feel like you have a purpose that God has given you? Then all things will work together for the good. You lost that job, it's going to work for your good. Your spouse is not doing right, it's going to work for your good. Your child is acting up, it's going to work for your good. Your bills, you're trying to figure out how you're going to figure out how you're going to do the bills. It's going to work for your good. Just believe it and have faith in him. It says that we have to trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to thy own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Sometimes we begin to put our trust in man. 
and man will fail us. Man will betray us. Do not put your trust in man. Do not put your trust in a car and believe that that car is going to get you from point A to point B. Do not put your trust in your job thinking that your job is going to be the provider. Your job is not your provider. Who is your provider? Your provider is God. Put your trust in God because he would never fail you. He would never fail you. Every prayer that you pray, it would not go unanswered. You just have to believe it. You have to believe it. You have to believe it.